coming into November now. Uh, Milkies and spinel on the menu, and uh, with our northeasties that we generally get around this time of the year. Three days northeasterly, those little fish actually, or little sharks, come wild. Just a quick one. Right. Uh, let you know the difference between a milky and a spinner. A milky, the second dorsal and the anal fin basically don't li line up. The spinner, they line up. So the second dorsal and the anal fin will be in a straight line. Easy way to tell the difference. Make a trace for them, circle looks, can never go wrong with them. What we require, and uh, I'll just run through it. 4 a tuna circle, works extremely well for them. Cone sinker, sets the hook itself. 19 to 25 kilo Kingfisher Maxima Nylon, works well. 5 to 6 um, combo swivel, my favorite, always has been. 65 pound Surflon Supreme, that's 7 by 7. It's soft, it's supple. Um, nice in the water, don't need anything heavier than 65 and of course our tools, mustard uh, scissors for cutting the nylon and obviously for the wires. Okay, let's start off making the trace. Take those two and put them apart. Okay, wait. Let's rather do the nylon first. Okay, give ourselves a bit of nylon. Come on, man. Take a nylon, just pull it st um, straight. <coughs> Big one to the top. As far as our combo swivel, five by six goes. Figure of eight. One, two, three. There's our figure of eight. Slide it down, pull tight, as you can see there. Now what we're going to do is just take our, our scissors, cut the nylon off as close as we can, keep it nice, neat. I'm going to make it just on a meter to start off with. To the top hook again, uh, top R, sorry, of the swivel. And again, we do figure eight, one, two, three times around. Pull tight. Okay. And that is just 1.1 meters in length. That over there. Now. Uh, let's start with the actual hook trace. Okay, very simply what we do, goes through the eye, and we wrap around once, twice, three times with the wire. There we go. And what we do is we just open it up, put your fingers in there so you don't damage the line, and you just pull it lightly to start the snell process. And there we go, there we go. And you feel just lightly, slowly do it. Okay, there's your figure of eight around the actual shank of the hook. Slide the nylon down slowly. Pull it all the way to the end, like that. Find something you can pull on. Pair of pliers now. And we pull as hard as we can. And that basically is your snell complete. Let's take a pair of side cutters. Put that off close as you can. Make it that long. That's about 20, 22 centimeters in length. First one done. What I'm going to do is exactly the same thing again.
And there we go. One, two. Okay, sorry. Let's go again. One, two, three times around. Push it through. Put your fingers in. And open it up to form your little bit of a snell. And this one's giving me a hard time because I don't have enough space to work with. Take this off. Okay, so all we do is pull it. There's your figure of eight forming. Pull tight. If you, there's your figure of eight with the actual wire. There's the knot. Slide that all the way through. Pair of pliers that you can pull with. Anything that we can to pull tight. There it is. Pull tight. Slide down. Pull tight once again, just to make sure it's tight. There it is. And what we do is we snip it off as close as we can, and done. Again, making it about the same length. Done. Okay, now what we do is we take our nylon. <coughs> Excuse me. Three times around with the nylon. One, two, three times. Okay, open it up. Pull it until it's reasonably tight. With the wire, we're going to go around twice. Once, twice. Open up. Form a figure of eight. Lubricate. Slide uh, the nylon down to where the actual hook is. Take a pair of pliers. Pull tight. Pull the nylon tight so it locks in place. A mustard scissors. And we cut the nylon off as close as we can. Take our side cutters as close as we can. Yeah, we'll just cut it about there. Okay. So that's basically what we're trying to do. We, and we're doing two of them. First one done. <coughs> Second one, just repeating the process again. One, two, three times around. With the nylon, open up. Pull tight with the wire. We're just going to do it twice. Once, twice with the wire. There we go. Okay. Let's get that on there. There we go. The wires pull tight, slide the nylon down, pull it tight to lock everything in place. Side cutters as close as you can, cut it off. And nylon. Here we go. So basically make it 50 centimeters in length, we'll just cut it there. Okay, now, what we're going to do, there's our two hooks, there's our main trace. Sinker snoot. Tie the sinker on, exactly the same. You can use a cone sinker or you can use a teardrop or you can use a grapnel. As long as the bottom one or your sinker has a clip of some sort on it. Okay, so we're making that about 50 centimeters in length, not an inch centimeter longer. Again, top of the trace, bottom of the trace. 
we go. Card on, all we're going to do is a figure of eight. One, two, three times around. Okay. Now what we're going to do is tie our bottom trace on first. So let's look at our bottom trace. We're going to make it that long. Okay, so bottom one. One, two, three times around. Take it through. Figure of eight. Slide down. Cut it off nice and neatly. Second one we're going to make a lot shorter. This one's going to be about 20, 25 centimeters in length. Okay, so there it is there. One, two, three times around. There we go. Pull tight. Done. So there is the entire trace. Okay, we're going to use dangles to bait up this trace and I'll show you in the next episode how to actually bait up this whole trace.